Item number SCP-1512-EX Index 3D Bioprinting Object Class Safe Explained Special Containment Procedures All instances of SCP-1512 are to be kept at Site-66. Under modified P4 conditions, all materials related to SCP-1512 are handled similarly to P4 pathogenic material, and SCP-1512 itself is kept in an ISO Class 1 clean room environment. All related products and byproducts of SCP-1512 are to be disposed of utilizing P4 procedures for disposing of laboratory waste. Rescinded. Refer to Addendum 1512-03. All personnel working with SCP-1512 are to undergo weekly medical tests and laboratory examination to ensure that no accidental infection by SCP-1512 is carried outside of the containment research facility. Personnel who have been infected by byproducts of SCP-1512 are to be contained and treated with mitotic inhibitors, vinblastin or vincristine, for a period of no less than 28 days. If SCP-1512 byproducts have not been cleared out of the infected person's system after the 28-day treatment. Termination via fire is to be carried out. Rescinded. Refer to Addendum 1512-02. No current special procedures exist for containment. SCP-1512-EX is to be kept in an ISO Class 1 clean room at all times. Research proposals involving SCP-1512-EX are to go to the project head who at the time of this writing is Dr. G. Hewlett. Refer to Addendum 1512-04. Description. SCP-1512-R66 electromechanical devices capable of artificially creating cellular matrices resembling functional human organs when provided with proper cellular material and growth media. All recovered devices operate in the following matter. A reservoir of cells, embryonic stem cells at the time of recovery, is kept in fluid suspension. The device, a modified CNC routing machine, moves into position where cells are required over a growth medium. As the device head passes over the growth medium, a stepper motor turns a screw that extrudes the cellular material over the growth medium. When a layer is complete, a support plate lowers gradually allowing for a 3D model to be built from living cells. The machine stops once the entire model has been completed. Biological structures created with embryonic stem cells require an external stimulus to influence the cell type, but adult stem cells appear to be easier to influence and control with respect to desired cell type. Refer to Addendum 1512-02 for details. SCP-1512 is compatible with running the G-code. RS-274, numerical control language, which is used to operate most computer-aided manufacturing, CAM, machines and devices. Recovery. All instances of SCP-1512 were recovered from an abandoned Prometheus Labs facility following the company's collapse in... All devices, software, and incomplete technical testing data were recovered without incident and all material was transferred to Site-66 for processing and containment. Addendum 1512-01 Due to the usage of embryonic stem cells, there is a concern that the biological structures created by SCP-1512 may result in potentially deleterious objects being created. Object containment class remains at safe, but handling procedures now formally adopt P4 procedures for handling all products and byproducts of SCP-1512. Addendum 1512-02 As part of an experiment proposal to replace Agent Redacted's index fingertip, which was lost during a field mission, one unused instance of SCP-1512 was prepared with adult stem cells derived from said agent's bone marrow, and an artificial bone and tissue construct was created. Following successful attachment revascularization surgery and no signs of mutation or other deleterious side effects, SCP-1512's P4 status has been lifted, and research may continue at a lower protection level. Addendum 1512-03 Following the news of biomedical research company Organovo developing its own process for safe bioprinting in 2007, in conjunction with the University of Virginia, 
Foundation agents have obtained copies of Organovo's notes to compare to extant instances of SCP-1512. Finding strong similarities between Organovo's notes and notes corroborated by research into SCP-1512, the Overseer Council has decided to officially reclassify SCP-1512 as explained, as the technology utilized in creating SCP-1512 is now considered advanced scientific knowledge rather than anomalous phenomena. Addendum 1512-04 Following the expiration of the Stratasys Limited FDM patent in 2009, other companies following the footsteps of Organovo have begun experimentation with bioprinting methods utilizing fused deposition modeling FDM technology. In response to this explosive growth, the Foundation has inserted former research staff assigned to SCP-1512-EX to different companies to oversee and guide safe and effective development of downstream technology. Dr. G. Hewlett, former chief researcher for SCP-1512, is now assigned head of the oversight project. Foundation-owned bioprinting machines are now authorized for usage in medical and biological research for other containment objects.